Well, everybody, it's Bruce and Bruce's Outdoors. As you know, I do a lot of fishing and hunting and outdoor stuff, but I also love to cook. One of my favorite things to cook is sweet stuff, of course. Uh, I'm going to show you my pound cake recipe here. It's a uh, one I got from my aunt, and I've had it for quite a while, so it's very simple. There's just a few ingredients, and uh, makes for a very, very good pound cake. We're going to start off... <clears throat> Grab my sugar here. Well, I guess I better get my recipe to make sure I'm doing it right. Need two and a half cups of sugar. melt mine all the way. You can do it softened, but I like to melt mine all the way. It makes your your um, pound cake really dense, really solid feel. So that's that's the reason I do it. And then we'll just mix up that sugar and butter right quick. And it's like any other cake, you know, you put all your wet stuff in and then we'll add in the flour. So we're actually making this from scratch, so we got that. Got sour cream. You need a cup of sour cream. So I just uh, get it, put what I feel like, about half of this. And then we just mix all that up also. Now we got our sugar and our sour cream. And the way I keep up with my stuff is I'm finished with it. I put it back, I put it away. That lets me know I've used it already. So. Here we go, we're going to put the sugar away. Got the sour cream, we're going to mix this up. And we are just going to be going right along here. Got the oven going, the oven goes at 325. So we got the oven preheated for that. Um, vanilla. Two teaspoons of vanilla. Get our vanilla in. Like that. Mix our vanilla in. You can do this with a mixer if you like, but you just want to make sure you don't over mix it. It's uh, one of those recipes you don't need to mix it a lot, and once you get it mixed, uh, it, it's, it's good. I mean, a mixer will make it too smooth, and you can have it too smooth, and then it's not as nice. So we got our vanilla in. Let's see what else we need. Got our sour cream vanilla. We need six eggs. That's the last of our whip stuff, then we'll start putting in our flour and our salt and our baking soda. And that's pretty much it. It's a very simple recipe, like I said, but it is really good. You'll, you'll really enjoy it. So follow me and I'll leave you the I'll leave you my recipe and give it a try. Like I said, it's super easy and uh, very, very delicious. Mixed up good. All right. Now we need three cups of flour. What I do is I pour my flour in.
day. Here's our flour. Now I put my other dry ingredients into the flour and then I mix that up so it gets mixed up good. We need a quarter of a teaspoon of baking soda. And a half a teaspoon of salt. And that's it, it's just, a, like I said, it's just a few ingredients, and, uh, but it's delicious. And you know what I do in the summertime? I put blueberries, you can mix anything you want into it, and it makes it just really, really good. So now we'll just mix that salt and that baking soda in here. Now let's mix up nice and good. And then we just start adding this into our bowl. I put about a quarter of it in at a time and then just mix it in. like I was telling you, you don't want to over mix it. You just want to get it mixed up and, and, and do it good. That's why I don't like using a blender or a mixer or anything like that. Because I have one of those fancy kitchen aids, but I'd rather mix it by hand. batch of flour in that makes it um, makes it uh, a little easier to mix. Now we'll just put it all in here now. And we'll just mix this in Where you want to mix it. Make sure we get all the flour mixed in good. And that looks good, so we don't need to do anything else. Got my bunt pan right here. I know it says non stick, but I always like to spray mine. I mean, that's personal choice if you spray it or not. I just play it with a little non stick stuff. try a little bit. It tastes good. So now we'll throw in the oven and it goes in the oven for an hour and 20 minutes. So I'll set my timer. Following along. Well, guys, there's our beautiful pound cake. It looks gorgeous. Can't wait to cut into it. 
I hope you enjoy this recipe when you try it out. It's very easy. I'm going to put it on here and you'll be able to see all the ingredients. And make sure you check in because every Wednesday now I'm going to be cooking in the kitchen. So stay with me and enjoy yourself. And as remember, keep them lines wet.